Dear students, welcome to our college and welcome to my English online class. I wish you a very good morning. This is your first paper English textbook. There are 15 units in this book. You will have to read the book thoroughly because from this book you will have to answer many items which are directly related to this book. You will be given a passage from this book and from this passage you will have to answer items called multiple choice questions in number 1 and in number 2 5 questions. Then you will find another passage from which you will have to write down flow chart. Apart from this you will be given a passage which will also be selected from this text and from that passage you will have to write down summary. So the understanding of this textbook is very important. Today I want to start with Unit 1, Lesson 2, titled Unforgettable History. The lesson is on the historic speech of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman on 7th March in 1971. At the very beginning of the passage, you will find some questions which are called warm-up activity. The objective of warm-up activity is to prepare you for the lesson, to know the background of the lesson. The questions are what do you know about Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman? Certainly you know him. He is Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. He is our greatest leader and the father of our nation. The next question is, where is he giving the speech? He is giving the speech at race course Moedan. Now it is known as Surat Duddan. Question 3, what is the time? It was on March 7 in 1971. Question 4 is the significance of the speech. This speech is very important because it has given the people a direction to be united and fight for the emancipation. Question 5 is have you heard the speech and where? Definitely you have heard the speech. You have heard the speech on television, radio, also when it is played in the community on different national events. Now let us play the video of the speech. Now, dear students, now I will read out the passage 
from the text and when you will read the text you should notice that the tone Bangabandhu used the emotion he expressed simile and metaphors he used my brothers i stand before you today with a heart overflowing with grief here overflow means flooded how did he start the speech attract our attention you know he was so popular so familiar across the world that everybody knows his speech and you also know that his speech has been declared a heritage documentary by UNESCO. Here, you means audience of the meeting. The starting point is very touching. It expresses the speaker's love. That means Sheikh Mujibur Rahman's love for the nation. He said a heart overflowing with grief. That means his heart was bleeding by observing the misery of the people of East Pakistan. His speech is an inspiration, a motivation for the people to liberate the people from the oppression of West Bengal. Now, let us go to the second line. You are fully aware of the events that are going on and understand their import. Here we find the word import. Import means importance or significance. Here we can notice that he is speaking here like a common man. The speech is divided into two parts. The first part deals with the situation and the oppression and injustice of the West Pakistani rulers and the second part with the direction for the emancipation of the East Pakistan. The speech, you know, can thrill anybody in a moment. From the very beginning of the people of East Pakistan have been experiencing step brotherly attitude from the inhabitants of West Pakistan. And in almost every sector, we had been cheated by them. Not only economically, they were deceiving us, but also culturally. They were trying to impose their culture and language upon us. Above all, you know, they caused us to bleed whenever we were demanding our rights. In 1970, when general election was held, Awamili gained a two-third majority, but could not form a government. Under these circumstances, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman delivered this speech to make the whole nation prepared enough to fight against the occupation forces of West Pakistan. The speech paves the way to be united for fighting against our enemies. He said, we have been trying to do our best to cope with the situation. Cope with means adjust with and yet unfortunately streets of Dhaka, Chattogram, Khulna, Rashahi and Rampur are awash with the blood of our brothers. The people of Bengal now want to be free. The people of Bengal now want to live and the people of Bengal now want their rights. Here he, Bangabundhu, the representative of Bangladesh. He was speaking on behalf of Bangladeshi people. He valued people as his own brother. He knew the sentiment of the people, the aspirations, the expectations of Bangladeshi people were fully known to Bangabundhu. His expectations and the expectations of people were same. He started the speech in such a style, his style, his expression, his emotion, everything is inspiring, motivational. His fiery voice created spirit among people. I expect that you will read the remaining part of the text in your home. Let's stop here. Stay home and stay connected with your teachers. Thank you.